Malaysia has been a democracy ever since independence. In fact, we have the longest and most consistent record as a democracy in Southeast Asia. Elections are fiercely contested and they are real fights, I can assure you, which is shown by the fact that opposition parties have won state election. Ours is a genuine democracy and no one is guaranteed election, no matter how high their position. It is the people who have the final say, which is how we should be in a democracy. Now, it is true that one of Malaysia's opposition leaders has admitted that he was a dictator when he was in power. When he was prime minister, hundreds of people were summarily locked up under the Internal, Internal Security Act. Newspapers, including a major national daily, were closed. The judiciary was emasculated. Crony capitalism was rife with deals made that significantly burden ordinary Malaysians today. People had no right to demonstrate and students were not allowed to participate in politics. But Malaysia's democracy survived and under my government, it has been strengthened. We repealed the ISA and ended the state of emergency that had existed for over 60 years. We increased media freedom by scrapping restrictions on newspaper publishing licenses. We reformed the Universities and University Colleges Act to allow undergraduates to participate in political activities. Today, the threat of weapons of mass destruction looms even larger in the Asia-Pacific region. Let me be very clear, there can be no place for the use or proliferation of WMDs. They pose a grave concern to the peace, security and stability of the region and the world. Asia must not be held hostage to the prospect of either a WMD or conventional war breaking out in our midst.